I'm Alex Ritz. I'm 24 years old. I've been skating for a decade and some change. And I'm from Crowley, Texas. So when I was like really little, I would, I would uh, every once in a while see Rocket Power on TV and I was like, that looks fun. Like that looks way more fun than like playing football or anything like that, these like extreme sports. So I was always very influenced in that way through Rocket Power and through like Tony Hawk video games, like Tony Hawk Underground 2 specifically, I played and uh, I played it with my brother and then eventually got a skateboard when I was like 10 or something. And it was like a plastic Walmart, horrible. And my mom like didn't want me to ride it without a helmet. And it wasn't really like skateboarding until like I discovered um, like some of my friends like in, in like elementary school started skating. And then like one of them could do an ollie. And that was like, I, I like made him teach me how to do an ollie. And after that, I was like game on. Like, I think I was 13. I love skateboarding is like an elusive thing that like you you can put whatever value on it that you want it's not some like locked in thing and it's like ability to you can create whatever you want out of it it's like ultimate freedom expression like i feel like more of an artist than i feel like an athlete or something i love that it like brings you together with people you would have never met it gives you a self accomplishment feeling that you have to work hard for and what was once something that seemed impossible is now like something you don't have to think about. I kick flip without, you know, thinking about flicking my ankle. But at one point, all I wanted to do was be able to flip that board and it was the hardest thing ever. And now I could do it without thinking. And like just that ability to take it from something that doesn't make any sense to like something you don't have to think about. It's like beautiful. So I love that. So I thought about this and like really early on I was I was like looking into skateboarding and I was watching all of the like old videos and I fell in love with Rodney Mullins almost uh, round three part or whatever. Like I thought I knew what skateboarding was. Like, you know, you watch Tony Hawk do a 900 and you, you, you watch people jump down stairs and stuff and like that's mind blowing. But then to watch someone like do a half kick flip to a Casper slide 360 out, like that's not, I already knew skateboarding was like this crazy thing, but that just exploded my brain. And I was like, stuff like that, that didn't make sense. Like the fancy lad crew, like all that stuff can seem like really cheesy to some people, but that's just like the like creativeness of skateboarding. I love that kind of stuff from skateboarders. So Rodney Mullen inspired me like crazy. Flash forward to now, these new dudes that are coming up, like Cater and what's that dude, T-Funk. Like, so crazy. I don't have a favorite anymore. I love it all. I, I love, like a lot of people have said, like their friends and stuff like that. That's definitely like, I'd rather like watch my friend do something crazy than like watch some video part with some crazy ender. I mean, they're both dope, but I'm gonna clap harder for my homie. You know what I mean? Kickflip forever. Feeble grinds, crooked grinds. Yeah, I like grind. Grind's really fun. Crooked grinds, sitting on a good crook, sitting on a good feeble or a kickflip, those are my favorite. If I could only do one trick forever, it'd be a kickflip, you know? That's probably my favorite, most rewarding trick. My friend Diego, specifically, he likes to switch it off, like, all the time, and I can't do that. Like, I have to skate the same stuff. Like, I skate pretty much exclusively Vans, and if I have, like, one shoe that works, I'll stick with it and I'll buy the same one over and over and over. So I'm very like easy going with that kind of stuff and I try to like keep with, if it's, if it's working, like don't change it. So I just like, you know, like loose fitting clothing and like a pair of bands, like, I don't know, I'm pretty like easy with that stuff. My current board setup, I'm skating a 825, now skateboard. Shout out Josh Hurley for keeping me riding. I've been skating ace trucks for so long now, same kind of thing, like, I don't switch it up. I've been skating these trucks for maybe a year and a half. I think these are Bones wheels, uh, 54 or 50 something. <laughs> um, and mob grip forever. If you're skating anything but mob, or if you're skating anything besides mob, you're, I, I, I suspect you to be up to something not good, not, not right.
The DFW skate scene is awesome. But, and like coming from a person who's been like, I've only lived in uh, Fort Worth area like my whole life. And so I watched as like a youngster seeing like Rhythm Skate Shop and Index and like all those dudes that come with those like places like grow and like those guys are still around but now there's like so many younger people like are coming in and like there's like so many more skate parks so many more skate shops like I i'm very jealous of any new up-and-coming pfw skaters because it used to be a lot harder to get gear it used to be a lot harder to go skate and so it's amazing to see it blossom into the to the to the scene it is now it's amazing when you go when you go to like Hit a, hit a quarter pipe or something at a skate park and you slip out, it's been, you know, you see rollerbladers there. You, you, when there's rollerbladers, when there's scooter kids, I'm not like judging anybody for riding any kind of different thing or anything like that, but if they're genuinely like being unaware, like kids at skate parks, that's, that's annoying. Like cops being judgmental or disrespectful to you just because you're like skating on private property. But I get it, it's illegal. So they can, you know, whatever, do, do your job. But if I'm giving you respect and you're being a, a jerk back to me, it's just that's that's a pet peeve of mine, you know, because I'm never trying to like give anybody negative, uh, you know, negativity, but then they give me negativity. So I don't know. Something I would love to have like unlocked is backside 360 kickflips down stuff. Like I can do them on a hip, sort of. <laughs> they don't look the way I want them to look, but when you see like someone just a back three down something alone is awesome, but then you see the kickflip in there, it's just like insane. Like that's an insane trick. I wish I could do that. I could take it or leave it. Sometimes you need it, you know? Sometimes you need it. I'm not gonna say like, you can never skate. You can never, you know, wax the ledge or I'm not that kind of a person or anything, but like if I personally find a ledge rail to be a little too sticky, I'll wax my rail or I'll wax my trucks or board before I wax the rail if there's other people there. And if there's no other people there, I just put a little wax on it because usually you just you don't need to cake it unless you're trying something ridiculous like front blunts, sometimes blunt slides, lip slides. If you're skating with a bunch of people, you should probably ask before you just wax up the ledge. That's kind of my philosophy. Low impact at first, stay away from the stairs and the handrail. <laughs> Maybe like hit the manual pad first and like get your knees warmed up, something like that. Yeah, I don't really have a warm up routine, but. I've been trying to stretch more as I get older. <laughs> I think I'd been skating for two years and I was like getting a little cocky. I, I like learned varials and I was like trying to varial off some ledge. This is the silliest trick. If I could take it back, I would. <laughs> but I just really wanted to do this trick. And on the 13th try, my friend kept count and it reminded me it was the 13th try. I, I landed weird, fell back on my arm and my elbow snapped in half and like, I didn't realize what happened. I had like the, uh, what is it, shock? You go into shock or whatever. And I tried to bend my elbow and it like, it, tr it tried to bend and it popped and it went back and I freaked out. And I went I went to the hospital, it was this whole thing. I think I couldn't skate. It was the first day of summer and I was like 15 or something. It was horrible, it was horrible, I was so bummed. I've been very lucky to avoid a lot of injuries. I just try and like calculate the risk a lot more carefully nowadays. But yeah, injuries happen with skateboarding. It's just the way it is. <laughs> if I didn't have skateboarding, I feel like there would be whatever skateboarding brings me. And I've been doing it for 10 years. And so there's a reason I keep doing it. Like it makes me feel good. And if I didn't have that, I would feel like when I don't skate for a week or something just because of life, I feel like not depressed, but you know, just like something's missing. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, I can't stay away. I just can't. I like street tacos. That's my favorite food, probably. I like street tacos. I like spicy food. I'll listen to just about anything, but I like a lot of like older rap music, kind of, uh, like Wu-Tang Clan and stuff like that. I do like some new stuff. I like a lot of electronic music. People probably don't know that. I like, I like a lot of different kinds of music. Smoke DMT. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all my homies who didn't stop skating. <laughs> Shout out to all my homies who did stop skating but still support it. Shout out to Josh Hurley for sponsoring me. Shout out to the V for making all this happen. Shout out to anybody watching this. Shout out to anybody starting skating that is struggling. Don't stop.
if, if you're watching this and you're, and you're first starting skating, or if you're just starting skating or whatever, you know, it pays off. You know, like you could, you could, I remember the first time I ever went to a skate park, I wanted to leave because I felt very uncomfortable and it felt like I was not really welcome. And I don't want anyone who's like starting skating to feel like they're not welcome. Like as a, someone who's been doing this for as long as I've been doing it, I've, I've seen and been treated like differently for not being like on a, a level of skateboarding. And that's unfortunate that it's like that sometimes, but just know there are like, good people out there who get hyped just watching like someone learn how to ollie or drop in. Anytime I see a kid trying to drop in or whatever, I'm hyping them up, you know, like don't don't feel discouraged by people who are jerks to you at skate parks or anything like that. That's my only advice to new people to skateboarding. Just stick with it. It, it pays off. Dude, thank you. I love you, mom. <laughs>